I was born 1932, almost 86 years ago. <laughs> I started making them when I was about 25, 26. I learned from my mother-in-law. I used to make them all the time with her. I never changed the recipe, and I always made them the same way my mother-in-law did. And there's no other way. Well, now that you can use a blender, yes. But I still like doing it the other way. It's just, that's the way I am. <laughs> that we should be using the blender and not the crater, but whatever. They're like, why are you still doing it that way? Mm -hmm. You're taking out the main part is doing them. You just said you hate doing that. <laughs> Those are my in-laws. That's Dana. That's the family. Uh -huh. Dominique and Callie. That's Ariana. That's my husband and I. This is all me with all the, when the kids were young. I do remember my mother making them all by herself. Everything from scratch to, to finish. I remember being in bed and getting up and um, seeing her in, in the kitchen doing that. And then when we moved to, from Manhattan into the Bronx, then we started I get a lot more involved in, in helping her do it. Did you do it all in one day? Yeah. Wow. That's why I used to go to sleep about 7 in the morning to get up again. <laughs> How did I do this? <laughs> I like them to watch me if they want to learn, and that's where my kids did. Okay. There you go. And they learn it in the same way. We got together. It's a kind of a holiday where when we really talk to one another and get together and, and that was more or less why we did it and I continue it and hoping my kids will continue it too. Hey Britt, take the meat with us. In like 40 years, are we even going to make these? Yes, yeah. 40 years. I don't know what I'm going to do in 40 years. I, can't make I always liked cooking. Um, I was just, I don't know, it was just kind of important for me to, to learn how to do it and to really listen to them when they were talking and so that I could really understand their, their language. I shouldn't say their language. It should be mine too. But um, unfortunately, we're not all fluent in Spanish. My mother didn't know English. Neither did my father. But my mother learned, and so did my father, to learn, they learned English from us. And then the pimientos. Always speaking English with my husband that we really didn't talk Spanish in the house. I just wanted to be a part of the culture. So, and I think that we didn't live in a neighborhood that was a part of that culture. We lived in a, an Italian neighborhood. I, I know when I'm done, this tradition will be going on, and on right? Yeah, you think so? Being that we're just not as, I don't, I don't know how to say any, say this any better, not as Puerto Rican as we should be, I, I think that it's good for us to know that at least we could get our culture through food. If we're not doing it through language, we could at least get it through food and learn some of the language through the food.